Hey guys, it's Lauren here. I'm popping in today to share with you a 12 by 12 mixed media layout. And it's also featuring cut file there. And the main, the, the person that is, has inspired this layout is pretty much as always, is my gorgeous daughter, Katie, who was having a little snooze on the couch the other morning before school. And I snapped a couple of delightful little sleepy, sleepy photos of her and I thought this dream catcher, this moon dream catcher and this mixed media background which looked a little dreamy, would look dreamy to me, would be perfect to scrapbook these photos and document this sweet little moment she was having. Now you're probably thinking, hey Lauren, that's a bit sneaky starting a video with your background already done. But I want to let you know it's okay because this time last week I shared a video on how that mixed media background came together. It, the video also talked about my tips and tricks of incorporating mixed media into scrapbooking and when you're doing backgrounds like that, which is really heavy with product and lots of layers, um, I gave you some tips and, well, the way I do it and my ideas around creating that effect. Um, so I'm going to pop the link to that in the description below. Um, um, but if you just scroll back through my recent videos, you'll see it sitting there. Um, and yeah, so I put that background together using some beautiful Lindy Stamp Gang Magicals. And I received those in the colour kit, the August Hip Kits in the colour kit. And we got three gorgeous little pots of powder. And those little pots blended together made that gorgeous background that you see there. So here I am, I have these three photos and to make these photos really stand out, especially from that beautiful, bright, busy background, I've decided to mount them real in triplicate, really. <laughs> So I saw that cute little scallop on some of the um, on a pattern piece of paper that I had, which was from the new Paige Evans collection. Truly grateful, and I just thought that little photo there because it's different to the large photo. I just wanted to make it stand out, so I added those little bits of scallops, and I'm just going to have those smaller photos just sort of floating down the those um, those feathers that are coming off that moon that dream catcher there so I just wanted to make them look like they were sort of hooked on there and just sort of floating down um yes tell me if tell me if you think I nailed it I, I in other videos you hear me talking about the placement of photos and the placement of titles and when you when I'm doing them a little off angle sometimes I'm not sure whether that angle's right and I'm I'm not a technical scrapbooker like I don't know the theory of placement or theory of color I just do what my heart tells me is right and, and end up with what I'm happy with and so the sprinkling of photo technique I'm not sure on how it is actually meant to work but I really hope that it looks like it's falling it looks like it's dreamy it looks like it sort of caught her up in this little bit of a magical magical dreamy moment there so yeah now the the large photos are four by four inch and the smaller photos they look like I didn't measure them but they are about probably one and a half inch by one and a half inch and that cut file is one of the exclusive cut files from the hip kit club um, so if you're a subscriber you can go and download that one and if you subscribe to the color kit well then you could probably replicate this uh, this layout using the all the August kit goodies um, that I've used here. So as you can see, this is taking me a little while, a little more time than I usually give to layering up my photos, but I really wanted the photos to stand out. I'm also mindful, I'm trying to use my scraps up. So as you can see, I'm sort of pulling things across, checking whether there's enough, um, and if not, I might use that and layer it up. So you'll see me here. I'm doing a border of this gorgeous yellow basil paper. Then I'll follow that with a soft pink. And then I had a little bit of a purple that didn't border the photo entirely, but bordered it en enough to give an effect. And um, and so in essence, I triplicated the, the bordering, just a thin border. And then I'm just using my fingernail just to ruffle up the edges a little bit, which makes the border look smaller, but adds a little bit of a texture to the to the layout. And I think when you're doing mixed media layouts, having different textures, cottons, ruffles, um, 
cut files, uh, more sprinkles upon more sprinkles of mists and sprays. The more that happens, the more depth you get and the more the layout will come to life. Um, if I just left everything really flat, the image would look really flat and um, and it would look very clean. But if you're wanting to get that real kind of arty, mixed media, clustery look, that's when the texture needs to sort of bring that scrapbooking up to the next level. So as you can see, that purple did not go all the way around. And I'm just now using my fingernail just to ruffle up the edges, which shrinks the color a bit because it's getting pushed up higher. But still, you can see that border in triplicate there. I just, I'm loving black and white at the moment. I just, do you like scrapbooking in black and white? I just feel it really helps the photo stand out. And I'm really liking heavily embellished layouts at the moment so the more I get a chance to help that photo jump off the page I'm I'm all for it um, and this is the way that that's been done so in my normal here I go with my normal like pattern of putting a layout together and I'm just going through ephemera pieces that I've got there I fussy cut those um, from a layout I did for the hip kit club not long ago so I had some extras I thought I'll pull those in and here I am just sitting out ephemera and sort of getting a bit of a, a gist of how I'm going to put this layout together without taking away from the photos, without taking away from the cut file um, and really highlighting the, the moment that Katie is having here and that I'm trying to document. So once again, in my usual style, you'll see me, I'll put all this down and then I think, yep, I'm liking this and then I slide it all off to start sticking it down and it never goes back the same way <laughs> but uh, this is a step that I need to do um, others don't others just go straight in and stick and I, I I take my hat off to those people I I can't do that and I know that well maybe it would look fine if I just did have a go at it maybe that's something I'll practice in the future but I really like to kind of set it out and then have a little bit of a think about it. At this time when I'm playing, I'm thinking about all the um, product that I've got on hand to create the layout. I'm also thinking of my title and I'm also thinking about what I would journal for the photo. So there are the, some of the processes that go on in my mind when putting a layout like this together. So here I am thinking, yep. I've got the general idea. I feel confident now to start sticking. So I'm just using some double-sided tape and some wet glue um, some, and just to adhere the top half of the dream catcher and the main photo because I want the, 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 the feathers that are floating down, I want them to be able to move around and allow me to put embellishments on top underneath and have a bit of flexibility there you can see well if you look closely you can see that I have not po punched out um, when cutting that cut file there are still pieces of the um, cut file that are still in some of those little holes that shouldn't be there like that feather that you see on the edge there's still things that I can pop out of that one and there's also one up in the top behind Katie's the cut, large photo of Katie that still has it and I was about to sit down and um, get my blade and just sort of pop those ones out and I actually kind of I just thought I liked it I just thought I, I wanted to keep some of those in and what it has done is allowed some of that white to really come through and it kind of I felt has helped that cut file really make a presence and sort of compete with all these beautiful bright embellishments and sort of say hey I'm still here look at me I've got this bold bit going on down here you can still see I'm here I am a dream capture I am gorgeous and pretty and whimsical and so I think just by leaving those there it's just sort of helped give that cut file a bit of strength and and um and just sort of help it come together so here I am now I'm just going for it I've had that general idea of all my embellishments and I'm just now in sticking mode. I love butterflies. This month's kit um, is full of butterflies and flowers and florals. It is really has been the easiest. Sorry about that. Looks like I'm punching you in the face. <laughs> trying to get the glue to run down. Uh, it looks, um, yeah, these kits make 
when they're like this and jam-packed full of embellishments of varying sizes, florals, leaves, butterflies, tags, all those little things. Just make scrapbooking so easy because no matter what you put on, it will work. It will come together. So it frees you up to cluster in a large way. It frees you up to add dimension. You can add flower upon flower, offset them so it adds dimension. You can have your butterflies. You can do multiple butterflies and puff the wings up. It just frees up all this creativity. And some kits, that when they don't come with those florals and leaves and butterflies and things like that, it can be harder to create those clusters um, for your images. So here I am, I've got my um, embellish most of my embellishments down and I'm thinking, radio, what 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 has my title been? What's it been rolling around in my head? And so I came up with our sleepy girl and she look at that look at those eyes. She you can tell she just woke up and I you know she saw me taking photos and this little sleepy smile came on her face and I captured that and um and she was fine with that. She's has this long long hair that's almost to her bottom because she's been growing it to donate and we're so close to donating it um and so she was just laying on the couch and this hair was flowing everywhere and the sun was shining and it was just a lovely little moment so I've documented I've documented um some at the end you'll see me doing some journaling and I've just documented some thoughts and feelings there and um and yeah I'm really loving how this layout has gone from just some pastel purples oranges pinks and yellows in the back um that are sort of soft with this dreamy cut file and then I've really stepped it up with color and these put these rich bold colors on and it has turned this layout into something something else something that's happy and bright something that I love but most importantly something that I know Katie's going to love um, she hasn't seen this layout yet she's at dancing right now she's going to be at dancing for the next three hours she's she's committed um, so I can't wait till I get when we when she gets home to share this layout with her and just see her reaction and get her thoughts and on what she thinks whether she's happy with this layout of, you know, documenting her sleepy little moment there. Um, I love these tiny little thickers. These um, are, came in the August kits, obviously, and I think they're in the Pocket Life kit. And they had blues and purples and pinks and yellows and oranges and sort of marbled through these tiny little puffy alphabets. And they're perfect for those little things. Like if I had written our sleepy girl in all those those big thickers, it would really overtake. But just having those uh, words like our of the, all those kind of little words in a smaller font, you can still get the message. Um, but without that being t taken over and the main kind of title, which is Sleepy Girl, really, really stands out. Um, yeah. So here I am. I had some greens popping in some of the embellishments. So I thought I just wanted to add a little bit more green along the line. So I had fussy cut some of these um, from some patterned paper and and just putting them on just to finish off the um, that side, that that side of the cluster, adding a little bit of more of a green element, just poking it in um, and around the edges. I cut that flower in half so I could capitalise on having, you know, I, I wasn't going to lose half a flower by putting it under a whole photo. So I just cut it in half and poked it out behind um, a couple of little spots there, which makes it look like there's two full flowers there when actually it's not. So that's a really good way of sort of maximising a floral embellishment when you get when you get it. So finishing off now, thinking about my journaling, puffing up my butterfly wings as you do, making sure my title's straight, and here I am adding adding it now. Now I make a mistake here. And here I am, here. I wrote here instead of her. So I'm thinking, oh my goodness, it's a big, bold, black pen. I'm thinking, what am I going to do? Uh, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, Lauren, I've just spent all this time embellishing the heck out of this layout. And I go and just, because I'm probably rushing, I just think, oh my, don't even spell a word correctly. Add an extra E. Anyway, so I thought, right, I'm just going to add some white splatters and then I can strategically control a droplet right onto that letter that should not be there there we go and now it is all fixed <laughs> I was much happier I thought I better do some more controlled droplets so the controlled droplets look very 
not controlled, <laughs> if that makes sense. So there you go. There's my layout. I hope this has inspired you to get out the mixed media products, to embellish the heck out of a layout, add lots of layers, add florals, add butterflies, add photos, um, and get creative. Um, if you like this layout, please give me a like, share it with your friends. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love you to become a subscriber if my scrapbooking style resonates with you. All right, guys, take care. Bye. Thank you.